So there's the story, right? Three of the apostles, three of those followers of Jesus go up on this mountain and they see Jesus, the transfiguration, right? What do we know? What's the transfiguration? We learned about it. Does anybody know? Oh, wait. Um, like before he went on the cross? This is all before he went on the cross. But this was this is one of the mysteries, right? Does anybody know which mystery? Oh. It's okay. Guess. What kind of mystery it is? Do you know? Is it sorrowful, glorious, joyful, joyful or sorrowful, glorious, glorious? No. This is one of the luminous mysteries, mysteries of life. So they walk up on three of these apostles go up on the mountain, right? And they see Jesus become dazzling white. And they see these prophets, these prophets that they as Jewish people were the great prophets of the Jewish faith. They see it there, right? What do you think they were thinking at that time? Why don't you write down some if they say? What do you think they were thinking? These apostles. Right? They, they were hanging out with Jesus. They've seen miracles and all of a sudden they see this. What would you bet on if you saw something like this? If he suddenly turns white and then voices and, and people show up. Yes? I'd be flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Good word. Yes? What if God, like, how he was doing it and then would have, like, reconfirmed that he was, like... So you think it would be, a, like, a confirmation for that? Yeah. Okay. What, and what word did they use in the gospel? Did you catch that, what word they used? What the uh, Mark used? He used the word in there. Kind of. He didn't say that, but he said, Mark used the word terrified. So here are these three apostles. Who are the apostles? Remember who we talked about who the apostles were? What they did before they became apostles? They yes. were like everyday people, like the fishermen and... Uh, yes, everyday people. What do we know about everyday people 2,000 years ago? Not much. They not. worked a lot. Well, they worked, right? Because there really were no schools, right? They didn't have as much luxury as we do. Absolutely not. There was no television, no internet. They and, and, and they the only education they got was from their parents. So that's why fishermen usually were their fathers were fishermen. So they were fishermen. And and Jesus, whose father was a carpenter. So he was a carpenter. carpenter for the first 30 years. But here's my point. When when they got up there, these these were some of the things that they felt the same things you guys felt. They were flabbergasted. They had no idea what was going on. It was a confirmation for them, right? Because they've been hanging around Jesus, seeing him do all these miracles, and now he goes up on this mount, and he is transfigured. He's, he's turned into a godlike figure. And, and, and historical figures that from the Jewish religion show up and then disappear. And then a voice from heaven says, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Who said that? Who do you think said that? God. God, right? So now they're up there and God is actually speaking to them. So I'd be terrified, I'd be shocked, and I'm, I'm sure if they had it back then, if they had the internet back then, someone would have said, posted OMG, right? <laughs>